way guys if you've noticed our camera looking really good uh shout out to ericsson uh, for providing the upgrade for the camera looks really good oh my god I, I i can't i'm so excited like the matches are so good right now lanor elf being taken down uh by chain to the rocks but it looks amazing hello lord welcome to the stream again lord congrats sa imong win yesterday sorry we could not stream your match very unfortunate but uh i really considered your time uh as the utmost uh utmost importance rather than you know streaming bali siya bali oh sorry about that <laughs> thank you for the uh thank you for that gaps Hmm? Oh, okay. So the camera you meant. So I think the camera is dead. Oh no. <laughs> Ilang guys na malfunction ng atong isa ka kwan. It's the same camera. Oh no. So scavenging us and okay, caps. I need you to plug and plug Jim's camera. <laughs> That is the only way. Yeah. Right, so I. Oh, looks like a little glare there. I think that's the omen of the sea. So the ferry is also on the field. And I think he's about to die. And it's still dead. Oh. I think this camera is also dead. Okay, we got uh, we got Andrews camera working there's Kiora on the battlefield Jim already at 17 uh, still looking very healthy but uh, still doesn't have anything on the field only has one red source passes the turn oh no very unfortunate for Jim I don't yeah I think he skipped the land drop right there I'm not sure And that camera is still not working. Oh, that's that's Andrew's camera. Uh, by the way, guys, we will be having a raffle later, so do stay tuned uh, to our stream. I'm trying to fix it. He <laughs> making volume. Uh, let me turn that up a bit. Kananaj, how is the volume? Can you hear me now, Mr. Krabs? Can you hear me now, Mr. Krabs? This is the same camera that has been dealing problems with the Singer is already on the field and na ego ang camera. Okay. Yeah, thanks, thanks. It's like it's slightly better. So transmogrify. Then he tried out again, he plug and plug. This is one of our old cameras and this has been that camera has been giving us a lot of problems. So Agent is already on the field and yep, the glory bringer is on to the other side now. So let me just bring up the deck. The page. Uh, uh, he's still, <laughs> he's still, again, uh, let's keep doing it until it works. <laughs> uh, but let me just bring up the card of importance here. Agent of Treachery, being able to steal one of Andrew's big creatures. Very crucial. Oh, questing beast though. That's a very dangerous. Uh, so the agent cannot block that. So going to dine. But he can definitely kill it with the glory bringer. <laughs> uh, such a very useful card. 
And to think that Jim uh, has had a very slow start, not having that fires of invention uh, quickly on turn four, not even having tokens early in the game. He just had to parry to slow things down. So Jim is doing the math right now. And let's see if I can get the camera to work. So he's gonna exert. And still not working. There you can see Jim and unfortunately the camera is not being recognized. <laughs> For some odd reason. Let's try it again. Passes the turn. And it gets the ferry as well. Alright. I think it bounced one of the Ah, the scavenging was all right. So, the ferry is still a uh, bane of the pioneer format. And put up the scavenging ooze. And the camera stopped working. <laughs> Uh, uh, try not to tap spell. Picks up the ferry. And there's Luca. Uh, he can definitely pick down. Yep. So he's gonna do it the hard way. Oh, thank God that agent was already on the top. We had multiple agents of treachery. He's gonna steal the Kiora. Uh, he's gonna untap the glory bringer and pass the turn. All right, uh, a little bit defensive. He's probably expecting another questing beast or of some sort. Let's try. Oh, not detecting. Grow spellbreaker for the turn, but. Since Kiora is on the battlefield, on the other side of the battlefield, then we won't get that draw effect. Can they hear us? Sir Edwin, welcome to stream. Uh, if I can lower my voice, yeah, you can definitely not hear me. <laughs> it just depends on how loud my voice is going to be. And there's the agent. He's going to take the Gruul Spellbreaker. It doesn't have Hexproof. It's, it's still Jim's turn. But I guess he's going to go in. Gonna exert, take out the scavenging ooze. So that's already three permanents, I believe. All right, so it looks like they're trying to clear, clarify on Kiora's uh, loyalty. Yeah, he definitely used that previously to attack with. Uh, not to attack, but to just uh, leave it on blocks. So he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna scoop it. Uh, games are about to start, but I'll still get into gyms sideboard options in a while so wow sa same as last game turn one chain to the rocks oh yeah that's definitely gonna slow andrew down Looking at the sideboard, two Supreme Verdicts for Jim. 
I think that's a birth of Miletus being glared. Uh, yeah, not much of a not much of a plan there for Jim Sideboard except for the verdicts. I guess I can board in the Dream Trawler. So I can give him a lot of value. So now we can see the birth of Meletus is going to buy time. It's also gonna set up the Transmogrify on the fourth turn. For those who are not aware, we will be also having our We'll be also having our raffle later, so do stay tuned. Rule Spellbreaker already on the play, puts it into a 4-4 with the Riots. Definitely a good card for offense. He's gonna play a tap land, Raw Green Triome for the turn. We can see Jim's hand there. Uh, a little bit of sneak peek he has. And he has two omens, both blue and white. He's gonna pass the turn. So he's got, probably gonna play it on end step. And he also has a fairy, I believe. Right, Cinder Vines. Very interesting play here for Andrew. It's gonna let it resolve, block it with the wall, so it's not gonna take damage. No trample is going to happen. So it's gonna gain one instead of two because of the Cinder Vines. Definitely a good uh, good card against control. So that Anger of the Gods is looking really awkward now, right now for Jim. It's not going to kill the Spellbreaker. He's also... He has the fifth land though. He also has Narset in his hand. He's going to pick up the Fairy. Andrew still needs to find a way to get in for damage. Gonna play the Narsets. Gonna look for the Transmogrify here. Ooh, that's a chain to the rocks. Yeah, it's gonna reveal that instead and deal with the Spellbreaker. Gonna take one. Yeah, I took one already from Narset. Gonna play the planes. He's thinking about attacking. Oh, so he's all right. So he's gonna blow up the chain to the rocks with the cinder vines and blocks with the spellbreaker. Alright, that's good. At least uh, he, he still has something on the board. So now Andrew needs to make a decision whether he takes out the Narset or the Teferi. Because that Narset it can definitely dig for uh, a card here. Yep. I think that is the best decision. He's gotta pass the turn though. He has three cards in his hand. Lagiton, uh, something went wrong with our old mic, uh, old camera. So, <laughs> Jim is a bit, a little bit of yellow today. Uh, Sir Ronald, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. 
once again guys if you're new to top deck games this is our featured match for the pioneer league season six uh, top eight we are almost there to declare our <laughs> champion gem razor hard cast very unfortunate could not uh could not mutate on the spellbreaker to get a lot of value so he's gonna bounce the gem razor very good tempo play there from jim plays a castle arden veil also secures that token so he's gonna put yorion into his hand and passes the turn Oh no. I think that's a gl a gru turf for Andrew. Just replace the gem razor. I think I heard him uh grunting about that top land. Definitely wanted to play to play a bigger creature. Probably a an El elder gargaroth. So I think Oh, I just didn't notice that was actually an ECD because of the glare. I'll fix the light later. So Narset is back on the field with six loyalty. I'm gonna take down. Man, this deck is just so dominant when it just goes off. If you don't kill it on like the first three turns, then it's so hard to beat this deck. So he finds an omen. They probably just gonna pick up the fairy. I can see his hand, he has a Shark Typhoon as well. He's, his hand is very loaded. He has an Extra Teferi, an Omen, which he got from the Narsets. I think he's going to play Yorion. He's going to bounce all of his permanents. He's going into end step, resets Teferi's loyalty. He's going to gain two life, make two tokens. Tries to draw a card. Think about drawing that omen. Probably will. Passes the turn. So what's Andrew's play here? He's losing grip of the board. That gem razor can't go through because uh Yorion is a four or five. Marafil na ako guys, hey, hindi hindi nakabili ng braso si ano si Andrew kang Jim. Aether gas to respond for the Elder Gargra. Yikes! Andrew losing grip of the board. That's a huge tempo play. If he doesn't have that uh, Elder Gargra, he can't get him for damage. He can't even block against the Yorion. So he's gonna reveal an omen. Still no agent though. Yeah, I can't block that. It's a 4 or 5. So he's gonna bounce using the fairy. And he's just gonna cast it again. <laughs> to bounce everything else. My lord. What is going on? Guys, this is this is really disgusting. Yeah, let's get a look at the top. He even finds a supreme verdict. Passes the turn. Not looking good for Andrew. He's just gonna recast the Elder Gargaroth. Uh, I think he was trying to discard. Yeah, I think he discarded the Omen. Because he has another one, of course he has another one. <laughs> That's a lot of tokens, even for me. Bakit ang lupit mo, Jim? Hindi kasi bumili ng braso. Yes, yes, we will adjust it later. 
Luigi. Uh, I'm focused on the game, and that is it. Looks like Jim is moving on to the semifinals. Congratulations. Very dominant uh, performance there from the Jeskai 